All right, we're in round one. We have no black mana, but I think I'm still going to keep this hand. Unfortunately, Slaughter Drone is pretty decent against us, but getting the black mana there is nice. At least we get to go, get to go Protector into Vampire, potentially in a Night Watch, or the Raptor even. All right, opponent's curving out. All right, I guess that's fine. Let's go Protector. Unfortunately, Protector's not the best here. Protector not doing its job. Not protecting. Mindraker. Alright. Could be worse. Courier Griffin's not bad. Do I offer a Courier Griffin trade with a Slaughter Drone? I could do that. Certainly not going to trade a Cliffhaven. But I think we do actually play the Cliffhaven here because then it sets us up better for a Courier Griffin next turn. Get the full synergy effect. Actually, I'm probably going to end up playing Night Watcher. Actually, Raptor is the better follow-up next turn because we can support and then we have a trade for his Slaughter Drone. Three cards left in our opponent's hand. We're certainly going to offer the block on the on the mind raker. See if he's got a combat trick. I think he's likely got a removal spell in there. There's probably a pretty good chance. All right, obviously not attacking. All right, did in fact have the removal spell in, in brutal fashion. So not only is he going to get in for seven, I can't even comfortably block. So that, unfortunately, was, was about as brutal a play as my opponent could have possibly done there, I think. So now we are in uh, really, really bad shape here. Okay. Okay, so we play the Raptor. He's only got one card left in his hand, so at least... Actually... The problem is Raptor does not offer a trade with Slaughter Drone, but... I wanted to put my Alpha Protector out of Mindraker range. If I draw another land, I can at least go Griffin and Tandem Tactics. All right.
Okay. Pretty sure opponent's double queuing because I'm usually the one that's behind on time. And this process has felt kind of slow. Oh, no. Oh, okay, just scrying. So he's going to get to scry. Let's see if he finds what he's looking for. Put a card on the bottom. All right. So I imagine it was a land. Let's see if he upkeeps scries. No. Going to take uh, three again. Okay. That's not a huge deal. Land actually wouldn't be the worst. Uh, all right, we can go Envoy here. I want to leave up Tandem Tactics. Gonna try and do the grind plan now. So a bit of a two for one against us, but envoy of his own. Okay. Clastria healer. Uh, it's not bad either, to be honest. So does he have good attacks next turn? I feel like he has some decent ones. Not amazing ones, but decent ones. I think we're going to play the Chain Mage. The problem is the healer doesn't quite do enough. Because I can like block here, I can block here, but then I take too much here. So I think I have to play the Chain Mage to offer the trade with the uh, Mind Raker or the Sifter. Land next turn would actually be pretty nice. I'd like to go Healer, Chain Mage. All right, put a card on the bottom. I mean, I guess I'm thankful my opponent's not finding what he's looking for. Now he's ready to upkeep Scry. Okay, this time opponent is keeping it on top. Well, attacking with everything seems dangerous for us. Strikes me like he has something. So, I think we actually want to kill the sifter here, so... Let's go like this. Hmm. That seemed like a really poor attack for my opponent. Um, Sludge Crawler can pump itself. One two, three, four times and we become a 5-5. Five, five. It's still not good enough to get by our Night Watch. 
So um, I think we can actually go Chain Mage again. Once again, not getting... Do I want to just gain life? I could go Healer. It just doesn't make the best use of mana. I think we play the Chain Mage. Pass again. Playing this pretty patiently, I know, but I, th I think this is the way we got to play it. This time he didn't upkeep Seer's Lantern, which is interesting. Oh, I guess he wants to do the Sludge Crawler pump, but like I said, he's four, six, eight. He can only pump it four times. If he plays another land, he can sack the Scion and make it a six, six, but not sure how much that matters. No color is pretty good. Okay, well, I think we could potentially get back in this. Tendrils does not do enough here. So we can isolation zone the null caller, especially since he can't use it right. Well, he's got three two twos he can get. Otherwise, Isolation Zone, like a Mind Raker or a Sludge Crawler. Sludge Crawler's getting bigger. I probably don't care too much about 2-2s, two especially with Flaying Tendrils in hand. Maybe we just Isolation Zone the Sludge Crawler. Um, or I can play Career Griffin. can also Isolation Zone the... Mindraker. All of these are legitimate options. Um, kind of want to play Courier Griffin, give this flying, but then the Sludge Crawler is still a problem. Hmm. I think we play Courier Griffin anyway, or do I want an Isolation Zone? This is tough. Not exactly sure what's the best here. My best isolation zone target is probably like a, a sludge crawl at one land, and it can become a 6-6, six, six, like I said. But I want to be able to tendrils it. That's the problem. I think we go... Isolation zone, crawler. Because I can't really double block at the moment. Could Isolation Zone the Null Caller, too? This is tough. So we can get extra 2-2s. Two We're low enough on life where that could be a problem, especially with all the other attackers. But Sludge Crawler with an extra land is going to become a 6-6, six, six, which means I'd have to double block it. I think we have to do the Sludge Crawler. Not my favorite play. But, like I said, I have the Flaying Tendrils for the for the Null Caller. All right, bottom to card. Didn't upkeep Sears Lantern. Okay. So let's go Healer. Actually, let's go Griffin. He can use Null Caller twice, which means I would only have four blockers for his six attackers. And I wouldn't block with the Chain Mage. So I'd only have 
three blockers for his six attackers. Block here, block here, block here. I would take five. I st still think we can't attack. I think we got to grind. Because if I attack, he gets a good attack in on us. As much as I, I, I do def desperately want to get in with the, uh, <laughs> the Night Watch, but I, I just can't. Okay. Alter's Reap's actually not the worst. Let's go Healer. Trying to think if I can attack with Nightwatch yet. He can use this again. I probably can get in with Nightwatch now. One, two, three, four. But this is like a chump blocker. And the Embodiment. I guess not. I still can't. <laughs> Play the Medic. We can get in with the Griffin, I guess. Oh, wait, he's got the Envoy. All right. Still can't get in. All right. Well, Flaying Tendrils might be... Well, it doesn't do enough for us, does it? Oh, so this time he definitely has a trick. Otherwise, this attack doesn't make a ton of sense. So let's figure out best blocks here. Um, this guy probably wants to take out the embodiment. I think this wants to block. No, we'll call it. We'll probably stop this. can stop here. can block here. And then we... Do that. Yeah, I think this is how we're going to do it. Okay. Still okay. So I can attack for 5, 6, 10, 11, 12 damage. He can smash back for certainly lethal. Let's say I block. Let's say I chump. I can go to 8 life, 9 life. So let's say I chump to 5, 5, 1, 3, 6, 8. 
think we're still going to play the patient game here. I can't kill him is the problem. And he can make dudes anyway, so I can't really get in with everything. And flaying tendrils doesn't do enough, so I think we got to chill out another turn here. Okay. So still don't particularly want to cast flying tendrils. So I guess we're going to chill out again. Uh, to Juru Path Wardens. Searing Light's not bad, actually. Um... So let's say he attacks with everything he's got. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got what? Four, eight, nine attackers to our five blockers. But if I flank tendrils, I only take out three zombies and I take out two of my own guys. So I don't think that's good enough. We do have Searing Light, though, which can do some work for us. So I think... We have to chill again. Uh oh, found something. I mean, you do have searing light, it should help. I want to cast it on the Null Caller. Let's do this. Block of five thing. So this would be one, three, eight, ten, twelve. We're at eleven. We can gain two more, though. One, three, but then we can also Searing Light, so I think we're going to have to have this be good enough.
Hmm. So if I make my opponent lose two, he goes to seven. This gets flying. Just don't quite have it. If I flang tendrils now, he can still pump the stalking drone. Not good enough. I guess we just go for the work lyric into Angel of Renewal. So we gain a bunch of life. Attack with Nightwatch, he can go to four. He'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attackers to my five blockers, which means I'd take a minimum uh, six. I'd go to 10, though. Path Warden could be a problem. I think that we do. Um, go for the attack here, I think. Right? Smashes in with everything. I do a bunch of blocks. As long as Chain Mage lives. Let's say I can't block with Chain Mage. I'm just debating whether this attack is safe or not. I feel like it's not worth it. Let's just grind our opponent out. And this is game one. I've got less than 10 minutes. I have used a lot of time to think. But you have to give me a little bit of credit because this is actually a very complicated board, uh, board state. Very, very complicated. Not a simple board state by any stretch. All right, we're going to kill the trampler. We're going to block... Uh, three power guy, gonna block here, gonna block here, and this would be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but which means we probably have to do another block. Maybe we have to jump here. All right, let's get in with flyers. All right, wow, surprised we won that grind. All right, I got we got to make way quicker decisions that time around. Like I said, very complicated board state. I think flaying tendrils is going to be a lot worse in this matchup. It does kill like slaughter drone, but we just never found the opportunity that game to ever cast it. But if it does get, I think make a stand could definitely be. And actually, dazzling reflection seems like something that might potentially help us because life gain seems good pathway arrow is probably not good enough all right let's try this again and i don't like having to make quicker decisions but if we go to a game three and we're shorter on time than our opponent which we are currently we could be in big trouble so i have to make quicker decisions it's difficult to narrate on complicated board states because you want to explain your thought process but it's hard to do that and manage the math of how much can he crack back for? What if he has a removal spell? Like I played it the ultra, ultra conservative way, which was just hold out as long as I possibly could, because I know that the archetype I made is able to do that. And in this case we were, we were able to outgrind our opponent despite his huge early lead, like coming back there was huge. Um, but it did, it costs you a lot of time. We used, upwards of 16 minutes that game so i i have to make sure that i just i make much quicker decisions here all right we're in game two got to keep here which is nice and in turn two cluster healer is pretty helpful too Chain Mage is actually a pretty good draw, too. Uh, 
Um, unfortunately, Tar Snare does not take care of that problem. <laughs> All right, well, no play is nice. I'm going to go Cliffhaven first because of Clostria Healer synergies. Ooh, seven drop, huh? It's going to be tough. Isolation zone off the top would be nice. All right, are we good to go chain mage. Swing with cliffhaven. And pass. So now I just want to block healer and altars reap. Actually, I guess we can take eight here, can't we? All right, now I kind of want to do tandem tactics, I think. So we're going to block like this. So we can play Angel of Renewal pre-combat. I think that's the play. Do that. Do this. Sing for two in the air. And pass. So we've seen two lands and a lead by example. He can put them on the bottom, right? Yeah, he's bottoming the lands, which makes sense. Yeah, we're going to take 12. Concession. All right, cool. Got the match.
pretty insane. Um, Cliffhaven Vamp, MVP of that game. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you around two.